now to see that I'm now charged for incompetence. I've never brought the country to eight hours of load shedding and mm -hmm. affect businesses and affect uh, livelihood of people. Mm -hmm. Some people are dying in hospitals because there are no generators and everything. Mm -hmm. But I'm sitting here, was trying to change the lives of the, of the people, and I'm being um, treated like this, maybe um, because I'm not the right color. I don't know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. Um, maybe we should... If they don't want you in public protector, I will take you to ESCOM. Yeah, I can make a big difference there. Thank you. <laughs> we need that. Uh, evidence leaders, how much has, have we spent, me coming here, the office paying, and the very same office which has written to the speaker now and the chairperson that they won't be funding come end of March. And there's a constitutional court judgment which says, you need to be represented. So how are we going to proceed, Chairperson? Because then it means your process will be stifled. The very same office which they were not a party to the Western Cape High Court. They sent directors of firm of attorneys. They sent SC to just be on a watching proof. Where they asked how much was that? Any objective, fair, and reasonable analysis of what has occurred during my incumbency until this point can only lead to one conclusion and one conclusion only. I'm not guilty of the charges concocted by Honorable Mazon of the DA and supported by the ANC majority. On the contrary, I have taken the office of the Public Protector to greater and unprecedented performance and governance issues pertaining to proper accountability. It was not possible for my predecessors to have a clean audit, or especially my, my well, the first uh, advocate, Martin Sala, because when I arrived there, there was a, 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 a forensic report uh, where they had outsourced investigations mm. to various firm of attorneys. There was a lot of violations of the um, supply chain management policies, mm. treasury prescripts. And to my dismay, I found the institution in some state of disarray. I had to hit the ground running, literally. Not having received any job specification, no training, exacerbated um, things. Some of the issues which I identified as concerning included Massive backlogs in respect of different types of categories of cases, mm -hmm. especially the bread and butter issues, because mm. uh, what we call administrative justice and service delivery matters, the, the numbers were higher. There was uh, some files which are missing information or we are not getting evidence. I mean, I think on the CX we'll deal with it. Some mm. of the information was not there. Mm. Then there was issues of transformation and affirmative procurement, especially in relation to legal services. Uh, for instance, the repeat, repeated utilization of the same white law firms without a panel of attorneys in breach of Section 217 of the Constitution and the regulated, uh, the, the, the regulated framework.